Hello guys, this is Bossy, and in this video we'll talk about the return to the Gear series of a fan favorite character, Colonel Victor Hoffman, who appears in the currently running comic book series High Busters, which helps expand the lore behind the Gears universe set in Gears 5. Colonel Hoffman, as he's usually called, is a member of the Coalition of Order Governments or CA. He made his debut in the first Gears of War as the only high-ranking COG officer that we have an interaction with. Hoffman was actually the man behind the plan to mop the locust tunnels and deploy the experimental weapon, the light mass bomb, which they had hoped would end the war at the end of the first Gears of War. To accomplish this mission, he puts his trust in Delta Squad first led by Lieutenant Mi Jong Kim and later on by Marcus Phoenix after Kim was assassinated by the Locust General Ram. Marcus, or main protagonist, is a soldier that has just been set free from the Jacinto Maximum Security Prison by his best friend Dominic Santiago after committing high treason when he abandoned his squad in order to save his father Adam Phoenix. This made Hoffman consider Marcus a traitor. He even reluctantly made him sergeant after Kim's death. Despite Hoffman and Marcus' clashes, both soon learned that in order to win the war, they have to stand united against a common enemy. Hoffman also took part in planning Operation Hollow Stone, a cock counterattack designed to take out the Lux Queen and possibly end the war. After Delta Squad found out that the Locusts were planning to sink Jacinto and the Hollows underneath in order to stop the Lambert epidemic, Marcus realized that they needed to sink Jacinto before the Locusts left the underground caverns in order to stop them once and for all. Eventually, they were able to flood Jacinto, killing most of the Locusts and hopefully the Locust Queen as well. This meant that humanity had just lost its last safe city. Moving on to Gears of War 3, we get to see that Hoffman is on Amilgate, a fortress from the Pendulum Wars, and he is reunited once again with Delta Squad after parting ways at the end of Gears of War 2. Marcus informed Hoffman about a large group of locusts coming their way as well as Adam Phoenix being alive and captive in Asura, a secret island protected by a continuous storm that has been recently captured by the Locust Queen. Hoffman decided to stay on Anvil Gate after the recent intense battle they just had to defend it against the Locust forces is still coming, while Marcus and the rest of Delta Squad get to Asura to liberate Adam Phoenix and deploy a weapon that is said to kill all Lambert creatures and possibly the Locust as well. As Hoffman and the rest of the forces were making their last stand against impossible odds, they see a blue wing coming their way and as it passes through, Locust forces fell down to the ground and remained in mobile. He realized that Marcus had just activated the machine said to be able to eliminate the Locust and Lambeth alike, thus ending the severe long human Locust war. In Gears of War 4, after the end of the war 25 years later, we see a now 87 year old Victor Hoffman in a wheelchair. He's remembering his old days, when he fought in the Pendulum War, then emergency day, which was the day the Locust first attacked and the end of the Locust War, when he fought to repel a Locust attack on Anvil Gate. For the entirety of Gears of War 4, that is all we get to see from Hoffman, and he's not even mentioned in Gears 5, but in the currently running comic book series called High Busters, which I recommend you read, we get to see Hoffman in his wheelchair again and he's now accompanied by his assistant, Hannah, in what looks to be a command center for the high-poster operations inside his home. 
We do not have a great explanation about this, but based on what Hoffman and his assistant Hannah say, we can assume that this is Team Scorpio Fierce mission. Their mission consisted of infiltrating a swarm hive and deploying a toxic substance called Venom. Doing this will eliminate all swarm inside the hive and theoretically will also eliminate the swarm associated with that hive that were not inside of it when the venom was deployed. Hoffman then shows his gratitude to Scorpion and offers to all three members a unique parting gift for their service. To Lani, he offers an overturn of her sentence and a reinstatement of her rank. She is now once again a gear sergeant. To Keegan, he offered a meeting with Captain Drury from the Onyx War since Gigan is a former Onyx War Corporal, and to Mac, a civil, drawn to this war, he offers redemption, the opportunity to destroy the swarm that took his village long ago. He even tells Mac that he is going to find two more guys to replace Gigan and Lani, but all three of them say that they are a team so they cannot be replaced and one more mission won't kill them. So Scorpio decides to stay together and boss another hive, to make the swarm have a little payback for taking Max Village and destroying his life. Hoffman's appearance may be brief, but it does send a tone of relief considering his age, since many had actually theorized that Hoffman will stop being part of the Gear series due to his already advanced age seen in Gears of War 4. So here's hoping that we get to see more of Hoffman throughout the comic series High Posters and that we hopefully get an official appearance in the next upcoming Gears game. So remember that if you like this video please consider leaving a like, subscribe and comment down below for more content.